welcome to Disney Makes Coloring. If you're new here, my name is Megan and I'm so excited to be here with you today. <laughs> I'm having the hardest day. This is like the third time I've started this video. <laughs> it's just, yeah, one of those days. Um, I'm going to be doing a fun video today. It is a tag video. Um, it is called the end of the year coloring tag and it was originally created by Sassy's Coloring. I will put a link to her channel in the description box below. Um, I took, she had 10 questions. I took her 10 questions. I kind of tweaked it a little bit, made it my own, and I added a few questions. So um, I am going to tag, well, first of all, I'm tagging any YouTuber that's out there. We would love, I think this is fun, and it's fun to look through all your books and look what you did all in a year, things like that. I think it's fun. But there are certain channels that I am going to tag. Um, I'm going to mention them now, and then I will mention them again at the very end of the video. If you do um, join me in doing this tag video, make sure you tag Sassy Coloring and myself, because I want to see it, and I'm sure she would love to see it also. So here are the channels that I would like to tag, and I am hoping that you all continue it and then tag even more channels. So I am going to be tagging Amanda Colors, Christina's Art Corner, Dana's Coloring Obsession, Dusty Coloring, Happy Catastrophe, and Shell's Coloring Journey. Um, I think that would be so much fun. Um, so I'm hoping you all will join me. If not, I totally understand. Um, we, Some of us are very busy and it's you can do it anytime. There's no time limit or whatever one to do this. So I have a huge stack next to me. I have a lot to show you. Um, so you might want to grab a snack and maybe something to drink. It might be long. It might not. Depends on how fast I talk and how fast I get through it. It took me forever to prep this video. I'll just tell you that right now. So let's see. I need to rearrange. There we go. All right. Question number one is how many pages did you color in 2023? So I had to go back. This is my coloring journey journal for those of you who are new. Um, this one I didn't start till August and this one is January through uh, July. So I had to go through both books and look through it. And this is crazy. Are you guys ready? I colored 736 pages this year this last year, in 2023. I went back to 2022 to see how many I, I colored then. I colored 610 in 2022. So I colored 126 more pages this year than I did the year before. I think this is just fun. I don't have any goals with how many pages to color, none of that. Um, I really enjoy it. Um, it's really helping me coloring. Um, it helps me mentally. It keeps me occupied. Um, it keeps my mind busy so I'm not going down the road. And then, yeah. Anyway, it's, I, and I so love doing the YouTube thing and all of this. So question number two is, which month in 2023 did you color the most pages in? in? And how many pages was it? So that's a two-parter. Um, my biggest month was October. And I colored 86 pages in October. Um, I do love coloring fall. Don't know why. I like decorating fall. I like coloring fall. It's not really my favorite holiday. Um, I'm not really a Halloween person. And... Um, Thanksgiving is hard now since my mom passed like two days before Thanksgiving. Um, but Christmas is my favorite holiday. But fall is my favorite season to color and decorate with. I just think they have such cute stuff with the gnomes and the mushrooms and the, I don't know, candles and soups. Anyway, I like winter too, but yeah. So yeah, can you believe that? 86 pages in one month. Whew. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Number three, how many coloring books did you add to your collection in 2023? Now, please, no judging. And no, uh, no, yeah, please, no judging. It is not, I did not purchase all of these. Some, a lot of these were gifts. 
Um, and I'm a collector. So I call it, I got it from Pixie, from Pixie's Project. It is my line art museum. So if I color in it, if I don't color in it, I'm okay with that. Um, I enjoy having it. I enjoy looking through them all. It is my collection. But I added 219 coloring books to my collection in 2023. So my current total of coloring books is 631. And out of that 631, 311 of them are untouched. And some of them may stay untouched. Um, it depends. I need to go through. I do someday need to de-stash. There are some books that I have that I will never color in. But um, that don't mean much to me. But I don't know. We'll see. Like I said, I'm a collector and I enjoy having them all. So I, I don't know. But that also goes to the next question. Number four is how many untouched coloring books did you color in in 2023? I colored in 109 untouched books. So that's pretty good. Yeah, I think that's really good. Um, there is the question, and I didn't put it in there, is um, how many coloring books did you actually color in? That would have been a lot of work to go through it all because some of the months I color in the same coloring books every month. So you'd have to figure it out and... I didn't want to do that. But if you want to add that question, you're more than welcome. Um, but I did um, color in 109 of my untouched coloring books. So that leaves me to this day from today, which is January 1st. Um, I still have 311 books that are untouched. So yeah, now I'm going to start showing you some things. Um, number five is what are some of your favorite pages you colored in 2023. Well, the first one I am going to show you at what seems to be the favorite on Instagram. I got the most likes on this one. Um, this is a color along that I do have on my channel. And um, this is the full book color along. So we will be coloring in this book until we complete it together. But for some reason, this Happy Halloween page got the most uh, likes for 2023. Um, I did draw in the moon. I created that myself and I was very impressed with myself, I will have to say. And I added the bats. But yeah, there's my hidden Mickey. Um, I wouldn't say it's one of, I'm, I'm proud of it. And I'm not going to say these are my favorite pages that I've colored, but these are pages that I um, have impressed myself with. Yes, I did impress myself with this one, um, but I'm going to keep showing you. I have, originally I had it to where it was your top five. Well, I couldn't do that. I have too many. <laughs> I really have too many. This is what I like to call the Japanese bunny coloring book, but really it's Rabbit's Fairy Tale Fantasy Picture Book by Katoli and this page right here or this double page spread um, I absolutely love I totally impressed myself with it uh, it is done in I don't remember what I used I think I used my Sioux colors I'm pretty sure I did but yeah impressed myself completely This book, I just love this book. Um, really, all the pictures in here that I've colored, I absolutely love. Let's see, the next one I did was this one. Um, I love how this one turned out. Like if I was gonna get another copy of a coloring book, this would be one of them. And then I did this one. But yeah, this one was fun, hard. I don't really like the how the background turned out but the rest of it I really like, so. So, yep, yep, yep. So that was some of my favorites. I need to take these out. Where'd it go? These are my uh, Disney bookmarks that I colored myself. Um, in 
Autumn Charm by Teresa Goodridge. You're gonna notice that a lot of my favorite pages are my fall pages. But this one, I, I, yeah. This one, I just absolutely love. Love, love, love. I love how I did the letters. Yeah. Um, I don't remember if the bricks were already there or if I drew them in. I think they were already there. But yeah, I love this page. Isn't it one, one of these? Oh yeah, oh yeah, they were already there. So there is my inspiration. Whoops, I lost it. And there it is. I love it. It's so bright and cheery. I like how this one turned out too. That one turned out really cute. Those are old ones. But that's Autumn Charm by Teresa Goodridge. Um, I have two in here. This is Romantic Country, the second tale by Erie. Uh, the first one is this one. Yeah, I love how this one turned out. I would like to um, highlight some of this, go back and highlight some of the design on her. I don't know how to do that. And I didn't add any white uh, gel pen to this or a paint pen. I need to do that too. But isn't it lovely? I like that one. And then my other one um, that I totally impressed myself with is the Diagon Alley page. I absolutely love it. I added the stone flooring to it. That was not there. I, yeah. I had so much fun coloring this. It took a very long time. Um, it was, there was a couple of us that did it. And we, we took two months to do it. But yeah, it was a challenge and I did it. I think any time I color a double page spread, I'm impressed with myself. <laughs> um, next one I have is the uh, squirrel book. I don't think I have this one translated. No, I do not. Um, I'm going to have to... Hold on one second. This one, I impressed myself. I'm not good with fur. I'm really not. And... I just, yeah, look at, they look fuzzy. Yeah, I totally impressed myself with this one. And again, it's another fall one, as you can see. <laughs> They're just so cute. Yes, I love these books. They're just hard to find, I know. The only place I know of, well, there's two places you can get them. This one, the bunny one, the Yurori one. There's a whole set of them. Amazon Japan, which I feel like you get at the books for a cheaper price. Um, and I feel like the shipping is a little bit cheaper. But don't quote me on that. Or you can go on Etsy. There are a couple different um, sellers on Etsy that sell these. But they sell them for a little bit more than Amazon Japan does. And they kind of... I feel like they charge a lot more for shipping. This one, I don't know. I think it's just means something to me. Um, it's one of my favorite movies is Mary Poppins and my mom and I would sing the songs and the feed the birds. And I don't know. I just impressed myself with how he turned out. I used all pencil on this one. I mean, I mean look at how much... Anyway, I think I did a good job. Like I said, I impressed myself. Um, I have seen a huge difference in my coloring style this year. Um, I feel like I'm not trying to be vain or, or, yeah. But I feel like my coloring has way, way improved this year. But yeah, so that's Benny Blue by Christine Karen. 50 Farmers Miniatures. Um, this one I followed Erica from Elm Colors. And yeah, I couldn't believe I did it. I watched hers and I did different colors. But I loved it. I loved how mine turned out. With my plaid background. And this is marker. This is all marker. And I, I think it turned out pretty good. 
so all alcohol marker. That is 50 Farmers Miniatures. And then I have two, a couple more. Like I said, I couldn't do just five. Um, I love how this one, um, this one, I really like how the bubbles turned out as, yeah. And I love how I did the ombre look on the jellyfish. And I like, he's, his fur looks fuzzy and good. I'm an otter fan, by the way. But this is Deep Blue by Fabiana Atanasio. I have uh, Moonlight Mischief by RJ Hampson. This was just one of my favorite pages to color this year. I love this. It reminds me of There's a Nightmare in My Closet book. Don't ask me why, but it does. Um, if you've read that book, let me know in the comments below. If you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I love this page. Um, I have in summertime, this is a Hatchet Hero book. Uh, I love how this one turned out. This has been one of my favorite pages that I've colored this year. I just think, <laughs> yeah, he's so cute. I love Donald Duck. He's so grumpy. But this is great. Yeah, I was going through my Disney books trying to find which one I thought would be my favorite. And um, this would be my favorite Disney page that I did. This year. Or last year now. It's last year now. And then last but not least, um, this is one of my 10 books to complete. And I totally impressed myself with this page. This is Nice Little Town 6 by Tatiana Vogima Salova. And it's the gold. I just, yeah. Impressed myself. I don't know if I could do it again. <laughs> but I really like how it looks. I really do. But yeah, like I said, I impressed myself with um, my brassy gold looking frame. So yeah, those would be my favorites for uh, 2023 or my, I'm the most, imp I'm impressed with myself on those ones. All right. Number six, did you complete any coloring books in 2023? And how many did you complete and which ones? I completed three, three books. Can you believe it? I did three. So I completed Aria Vale. Um, this was a full book uh, buddy color on um, Pixie's projects. And yeah, there is a, I have a full flip of all the pages I've colored in this one. Um, in my completed pages, you will be seeing a full flip of Reptiloids because I finished it. I'm so excited. And then if you watched all my videos in December, I did 25 days of coloring. I did Coloring Sockmas with Make 2023, and I finished this book. So um, every page. Woohoo! But yes, that is exciting. For me, three books, that's, that's a lot. Um, it says, do you have any coloring regret? Re regrets in 2023. I don't have any regrets, but I have some disappointments. Um, these two books I purchased this year. This was more towards the beginning of the year. And I thought the cover was just so cute. And I saw it on somebody's channel. I was like, oh, I need to have that. But I got it. It's AI. They have the weirdest looking hands. I've ever seen um the line work is kind of fuzzy I mean look look at her hand so I mean some of them like here there's just a random hand sticking out right here whose hand is that anyway yeah but this was just a little bit this one was a big disappointment for me I was so excited because I've been seeing them. Um, you could only get them in, I feel like, in the UK. Um, this Coloria Wonderful Life 
little world. I know there's like volumes one, two, and three. This is the first one. It finally came to the United States. I paid quite a penny for it. Um, it was expensive for a coloring book and come to find out it is AI. And when I, it was brought to my attention because I didn't look hard enough. But after it was brought to my attention, I noticed it right here. She has like six fingers on her hand there. Um, it's, yeah. So that one I noticed, there's quite a few, but the biggest ones I noticed was this one. And then on this one here, I mean, their legs aren't even attached right. They're like, yeah, I don't know. And are those legs? I mean, what's that behind him? Is that a rock? Does he have like an extra leg? Is it the wall behind him? Anyway, I was bummed because I like this. I really do. There was others. Um, here, this mouse here has a whole bunch of fingers. But anyway, I was bummed. I was excited to get it. And also, um, I should have done a flip through to begin with because I wasn't, I'm being honest, I wasn't too impressed with the pages. Um, the third one that came out, I thought they were so cute. I saw a flip through of that one. So I was assuming the first one was going to be just as cute, but I don't feel like it is. Anyway, if you're a Coloria fan and you didn't know, the one that came out in the United States is, yeah. AI, sad day, sad, sad day. All right, that was number seven. Number eight, what was your most used medium in 2023? And I have two different ones. Um, I have my Ohuhu alcohol markers. They are brush and, well, this is my spare sets are brush and fine tip, but the 320 set that I have is brush and chisel tip, but I use these all the time for basing. But really my most used is my uh, Prismacolors. Um, if you want to know why some of these are sticking out and they're so long, when they get really tiny, um, I super glue them to the bottom of a new one so I can get the most use out of my pencil as possible. Like, um, let me show you um, this one. So I use it all the way to there. And yeah, I need to get out my, my little sharpener. I can probably get it to about there. But anyway, that's a lot of the pencil that I got to use because they're not the cheapest of pencils. Um, they're probably the cheapest when it comes to nice pencils, but yeah. All right, that was number eight. Number nine, which coloring book in your collection did you color the most pages in in 2023? And that would definitely be my Disney portraits book. I probably colored anywhere from three to six pages in it each month. And it's still not complete. It's getting there. We're almost there. But yeah. I love this one. I don't know why, but I love that page. So cute. But yeah, so this would be my most colored in coloring book in 2023. Uh, number 10, did you try any new techniques in 2023? Um, I did, but I didn't until December. I used a lot of new things in this book on my channel. I experimented with you all. Um, one of them was um, I had never used watercolor in my coloring book. So this was the first time to use watercolors. Um, this one was my first time to use, uh, what's it called? What's it called? Extreme glitter. Yeah, that one stuff. It's right here. Mod Podge. So 
So that was a first for me. Let's see. I'm using acrylic paint in my, um, I use paint pens, but I never use actual paint um, and layering the acrylic paint. So a matte one and then a glitter one on top. Um, experimenting with um, all pastels. That was, yeah, I'd never done that before. So that was something very different for me. Um, I think that's it. Because I have done stickles and washi tape. Yeah. But, yeah. I can't believe it's done. Oh, nail polish. I use nail polish. Yeah, I know a lot of people do, and, and so I tried it. So those are some of the new techniques that I tried. Will I do some of them again? I'm not sure. I might try the um, nail polish on a page that doesn't have a black background because I feel like it brought it through. Um, I did like the metallic washi tape. Washi tape. <laughs> watercolor. I love how that looks. Um, I need to get more colors. I don't have very many colors. And I also liked the way... Where did it go? I do like how this looks. So I did like using the acrylic paint. Um, I don't feel like this one was supposed to be a metallic silver acrylic paint. I don't feel like it's very metallic. Now, compared, especially compared to this one. Now that's metallic. But anyway... There are that, there is the, there, blah, blah, blah. there, yep. Okay, the next one, number 11. What are your top five favorite coloring books in 2023? And these are as of today. My top five favorites right now, right now. So I know I did my top 10. Well, now you're gonna see my top five and yeah, and this is as of right now. Because 2023 ended yesterday. Anyway, this is the brand new Eerie book. It is the world literature book. Um, I'm very excited to color in this one. Um, I Especially Anna Green Gables, Little Women. I mean, Little Princess, Heidi, Lion the Witch in the Wardrobe. Yeah, I'm, um, yeah. So this would be number five. Uh, number four, I picked the uh, Fantasy Town General Store coloring book. This one is very, very detailed. So if you do not like detailed coloring books, this is not the book for you. Um, I so enjoyed the pages um, I did in here. I did two. Where's the other one? So far. Um, very, very small, so you will be using gel pen. Is that it? That only one I've colored in it? I think so. Um, I, I don't want to keep coloring in it because then I don't want it, I don't want the book to be done. But yeah, I want to color this page this year. The one with all the books and the owl. And there are pictures in the front, um, of this book for reference guides. So, you know, it's a little bit dark for me. Um, I bright, I've been brightening it up. That was number four. And number three would be Gnome Sweet Gnome by Teresa Goodridge. I absolutely love this book. So, so fun. You can use any medium really in it. Um, I like to base with alcohol marker and go over it with my pencils. Uh, this is one of my, I should I wanted to add this page in it. This is one of my favorites too. I love it. I like teal and orange together, just like I like teal and red. This one's a good one too. And of course this one. Anyway, I love this book. So that's number three. Number two is this one, which I received for Christmas that I'm so excited about. I've not colored in it yet. So, um, this is my first ultimate 
coloring book. And I just love these illustrations. Absolutely love these illustrations. I mean, look at Stitch. Really, look at that. I would probably cover these up with washi tape, the um, order. Yes. Unfortunately, you can only get this book in Australia. Sad day. But, um, yes. Look at her. It's, it's just, yeah. So I might be scanning copies and then it's Flynn Rider. <laughs> He's running from Maximus, which is sad because Maximus is in the cracks. So you can't even see the rest of his face, but that's okay. Anyway, yes, I had to put a Disney book in my top five. And then my number one favorite this year has to be this one. Um, if I could, I would have colored in it um, every month, but I didn't. They do take a long time. They're very detailed, but I just think it's adorable. Absolutely adorable. Um, yeah. But this is the Rabbit's Fairy Tale Fantasy Picture Book by Katoli. Sorry, I have the hiccups. So that was number 11. Number 12, what are your top five favorite mediums to use in your coloring books for 2023? Number five. And the reason they are number five is because they are expensive and I'm afraid to use them um, because I don't want them to run out of ink. I don't have any replacement ink yet, but um, there are two different kinds and there's the sketch ones and these are brush and chisel and they hold more ink, obviously, um, but you can get the same exact colors in the chow ones um, and they are also chisel and uh, brush tip. And they are um, on the cheaper side if you buy individual markers. But like this small set, like you get six colors in this. Um, I got this on Amazon US. It was $26 for six markers. Um, and then they had a bunch of options. So you could get a bunch of different sets. And I looked in to the chow ones because they are cheaper to see if they sold sets like this. And they only sell two different ones, and they were $24, so it was only a $2 difference. But, um, and the two sets that they had, I have those markers already, or at least half of those markers. So I didn't want to, yeah, so I went with um, the sketch ones. But yes, so that's number five, and the only reason this, it should be like close to the top, but price-wise, that's why. Uh, number four would be my acrylic paint pens. I love my acrylic paint pens. These are the two that I use. I have so many people ask me. Um, I love them in my Disney color by number books. Um, this one is the Earth and Skin set. These are the Thule Arts um, in the Pro Color series. This is my spare set, um, which I've already dug into. I mean, they do last. They lasted about a year. I'll just tell you that. They do last. There is a, quite a bit of paint in there. Um, and most of the books don't have giant areas. But this one is uh, my Ohuhus. You get 40 colors. I love these. They need to be shaken up and mixed. And they have a... They're both... Um, I like the fine tip the best easier to get into smaller spaces. Um, yeah. So that is number four. Number three are my distress inks. Now I'm not very good at it. Um, where's that book? I'll show you. I am learning and, and perfecting my, um, 
my ways. So the background on this is Distress Sinks. Now I don't know how to stop it from having like the darks. I even tap it on a paper over here before I put it on. Someone said that you put a piece of paper like this and you start on this paper and then go into it. So I need to try that. Yes, I do. Um, I don't have the full pads. I get the minis and I don't have any of the oxides. I have never tried those. Um, these are the Distress Ink minis and then um, they're by Ranger and the case is also by Ranger. Um, I have more, this is just my blues. But, and I have some spares. And I know you can buy the inks to um, re-ink them. Um, I think they're a good investment. I don't think they're that expensive. And it makes backgrounds so much easier. So much easier. So that is number three. Number two would be my ink tents. I love my ink tents pencils. I'm still perfecting them. Um, not perfect. Um, I believe we did an ink tents one in here. I think it was the Santa Claus one. Where is he? This one. Or was this Neo Color 2? I can't remember. Did we do ink tents? Did we? Why can't I remember? Maybe we did on this one. I don't know. I'm so sorry. I don't remember. I'll have to go back and watch my videos to remember. But I do like these. Um, they have, um, I only have the smaller set. I don't have the new ones. I would love to get the new ones. They are available in the United States now, but um, you can't get the new ones by themselves. They have the 100 set, at least not that I know of. Um, I went on Blick. Um, Dot com and they have the new colors but they're all sold out so at least that's what it says so I'm guessing they don't have um, a good stock of them just yet but in case you don't know what ink tents are they are like a watercolor pencil you activate them with water but they are an ink so um, they're permanent so once you activate them and they dry you can't erase them. If you add water to it, it's not going to change it. There are there. Where watercolor pencils um, are totally different. <laughs> they really are. And then I also use, I use my Graphitent ones with, along with my ink tents. They kind of perform similar ways. So that was number two. Um, number one, my absolute favorite medium are my Prismacolors. Um, I don't know what I would do without my Prismacolors. I really don't. Yeah. I should have added the question of my favorite um, like coloring supplies, not just mediums, like, but that's okay. Like it, um, next year, we'll remember that for next year. Don't let me forget. All right, that was number 12. Number 13, what illustrator or illustrators would you recommend to new colorists or any colorists? All right, I have um, a stack here. Of course I have a stack. Um, for realistic faces, um, if you're into portraits, there are so many books out there. Um, this one is her more expensive one. It is nicer paper, but you can get her other books. Um, this is Christine K K Karen. Wow, I can't talk. Um, and they are cheaper. I think they're around... Um, $8, like $7.99, I think, for some of her books. Uh, and they're just absolutely beautiful. Um, you can find some of her portraits are very realistic looking. Because um, it depends on your what you want to color. It, it really does. Um, I like coloring portraits. I do a lot, but they intimidate me. I'm not very good at it. I'm learning. Um, but yeah, if you're wanting a more realistic portrait type 
I would go with Christine Karen. She has numerous books out there. She also has some fantasy fairy ones. And um, I love this book. This book, like I said, is more expensive, but that is because it is um, nice and thick paper. And as you can see, I haven't colored in it yet because I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> I don't want to ruin it. Um, another one I recommend, um, this one especially um, for beginners, because they're nice and big. Miss is Mariola Boudet, and she has so many illustrations. Now, I don't like her um, cute and her cute ones. She also has realistic people. I don't have any of those. Um, I am more into the whimsical, cutesy stuff. Um, so, sorry about the glare, by the way, but I wasn't going to take them all out. And they are all on Etsy. And they're not that expensive. And, um, yeah, so you can always have them. And you don't have to keep buying the book if you want to keep coloring the page. And when you buy it, you get the light, you get light line art, which is this, or dark line art. And I'm, they're just so cute. She's got mermaids. We have fall. We have snowmen. I need to put that one away. So we have some Christmas, some snowmen, and then of course my absolute favorite gnomes. Um, she probably has some of the cutest gnomes that, yeah. Um, these were a freebie. If you join her Facebook group also, she does give out freebies every once in a while. And the bees were a, a freebie. Um, here's some Easter ones. I think these are all freebies. And then this is the newest um, gnome, autumn gnomes. I printed them out smaller, but yeah, Mariola Boudet, I highly recommend. Um, she's got a lot of different, and that's if you want to color people. Um, she's got some cutesy ones and she has realistic. I didn't have any realistic to show you, so I do apologize for that. Um, now for easy and simple, fun, coloring um the two biggest illustrators i recommend and they have so many books online um especially on amazon especially camellia angel cova they're not very expensive if you especially if you get it the day it comes out they're even cheaper um and they are just cute simple uh coloring books and i think if you're new especially you don't know what you're going to like to color. So, um, you don't know if you're going to like to color animals. You don't know if you're going to like to color flowers. So since these books are inexpensive and to me, they're really, really cute. Um, this would be a good starter, um, book or any of her books, depending on, she has all different seasons. She has holiday books she has all different, she has jungle, she has um, safari, ocean, mythical, uh, woodland. She, I mean, she has dinosaurs, prehistoric, she has space. Uh, and this is her myth, her miniature series. She also has mandalas. I am not a mandala person. I'll tell you that right now. So I'm not ever going to recommend a man as we're looking at mandalas. Um, I'm personally, her mandalas, I, I don't recommend, but that's just me. Um, I, yeah, mandalas are not books I want to purchase. These ones I do like, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Um, but yeah, I, I highly recommend Camellia Angel Cova. And then Alexandra Franzis, um, she has a wide variety of books also. Um, not too expensive. I, I think... I feel like camellias are a little bit cheaper, but these mandala books are, to me, not mandalas. Um, they're not patterny. Um, they actually have different um, objects in them to color. And you don't have to, I mean, there are so many, like these gnomes, you don't have to color them all the same. You could do like rainbow gnomes. Oh, that would be cute. 
or all different blues for winter. Oh, look at, I'm getting ideas already. But she has um, these mandalas for, I think, every season now. She's got some Halloween ones. She has, she has a Y2K one. That one's fun. But um, if you're going to go mandala for me, these are the kind of mandalas I like. Um, and then these are some of her. She has the cutest chibi books. Um, this is winter chibis. This one and this one is one of my absolute favorites that she has. This country chibis. I mean, they are just so cute. And they are simple pages. Um, they're good to practice backgrounds on. You don't have to do backgrounds. Same with Camellia Angel Cova. I should show you that one. Let me show you. Like here, this is Distress Ink. But I created some of my own backgrounds. Let me find it. Oh, where, oh, where shall it be? Is it way too far down here? Oh, no. I can do it. It's like pulling the um, tablecloth out from underneath the plates, you know, how that goes. Um... But yeah, I highly recommend those. Those are good, easy starter coloring books. And she has animals, mythical ones. She has lots of different ones also. But, but what I mean by practicing and making your own backgrounds, I have done quite a few. Um, I did this one. I made a, the, you're going to see this in my completed pages, but I created the Christmas lights. I made this background. I created the fence. I did some clouds. So, yeah, I made, I've done my own backgrounds. And like I showed you with, uh, where is it? This one. It was just the pig and the vegetables and fruits. Nothing else. So I drew the circle and made the pattern in the back, which is, yeah. So, anyway, I think these are great starter books. All right, now I have some more, um, oh, portraits. We were talking about portraits. Another portrait person I like, um, but they are more like whimsical, cutesy. I don't think they're very realistic, is Hannah Lynn. And she has tons and tons of books, um, regular size and pocket size. This is a pocket size. I do like the pocket size ones. Um, they are, I mean, look, they're the size of my hand. But she also has regular size ones. I didn't pull any of those out. Most of the ones I have are PDFs. And that's another thing I like about Hannah Lynn. She, you can get all of her books on Etsy. All of them. So if, um, yeah, you don't have to wait for it. You can go into Etsy, purchase it, and print it. You get to download it right away. Um, you don't have to wait for it to come in the mail. All those kinds of things. Um, but yeah, Hannah Lynn. Look at Tin Man right there. So cute. Look at the scarecrow. All right. Next few I have that I recommend. And these are for people who like more details. Um, I like detail. I really do. I've learned that the more detail. These are Nice Little Town. There's a whole series. There are 14 of them plus holiday ones. And these are by Tatiana Bogima Stolova. Um, this one, as you can see, I mean, look at how detailed this is. Um, she's giving um, this little mouse a bath, and she's got all kinds of things, clothes hanging to dry. I mean, they are so cute, and the little mice are her little characters. Um, yeah. I am in the middle of coloring today a Christmas one, which I absolutely love, but... I recommend Tatiana Bogima Stolova. Now, none of these come in the best paper. These are all Amazon print, um, but Amazon paper doesn't bother me. It bothers a lot of people, I know. Um, it does not bother me. I think pencils work well on it. I think alcohol markers work the best on it. Um, so base your whole thing in alcohol marker and then go over it in pencils for shading and things like that. I think they're... I don't know. And, and on that softness book, I use all kinds of mediums in that book. And it, I mean, it made it crinkly, but that doesn't bother me either. 
Gabby Wolf is a newer favorite of mine. And I do recommend as she has some of the cutest books. But she does a lot of books um like structures. So if you want to color houses or buildings or stores or things like that, she has those books. She has mushroom ones. She has these are her newest ones, these mini mania, which has two sets, a lighter line art and a darker. And if you can't get the bunny book on Amazon Japan or Etsy because they are expensive, these bunnies are just as cute. Um, look at it. They're just as cute and you spend less money. I mean, this is in my to be colored in January pile. And then my number one recommended is Eerie. Um, when I started in this coloring community, I've been coloring my whole life. But when I started in the coloring community, um, Pamela's Passion for Pencils was one of the first channels I found. And she colors in this book. And when I saw it, I was watching it with my mom. Let's not get emotional. And we both said, we got to have that. We have to have that. And it was the second tale um, that I got us. This was the first one I got us. And um, I got both of us one. And this one is um, my messed up copy. It got it got wet. Don't ask me how. It's on a shelf, so I don't know how that happened. I'm wondering if it came that way. I don't. I don't even know. But um, I absolutely love. And there's some great tutorials out of these books. Great tutorials. Um. So many people color in these on their YouTube channels. So many. But yeah, so I'm going to leave this here so you guys can stare at this beautiful book while I answer the rest of the questions. Number 14. Did you find any new YouTube channels in 2023? If so, which ones? Now, there is no way I looked and looked to go back and find out when you subscribed to what channels. So I went through the ones I've been watching most recent. And that I know that I found this year. Um, and if I missed you, that doesn't mean I haven't found you. Um, I couldn't find who I'd found in 2023. There was no way to go back. Um, I tried looking up by how long you've had your YouTube channels. Um, yeah, I mean, okay, here's a question for you. Would you like a YouTube coloring channel recommendation video? Um, there are so many wonderful channels out there and everyone in this community is absolutely amazing. Um, I could do a video like that. Of course, I don't want to leave anybody out. So I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings, um, but it would be channels that I watch that I would be recommending. But anyway, um, channels that I am really enjoying and that I have found in 2023 are Dana's Coloring Obsession. Um, she is great and we have become friends and yeah, she is a fellow West Coaster. Uh, with me. Another one is Happy Catastrophe Colors. She is also a wonderful person. She is also on the West Coast, which is amazing. Um, uh, we also have become friends. There is Coloring Chemist. Um, I really like her stuff and she has all kinds of videos out there. She's really great. And Dusty Coloring. I enjoy her videos also. Um, I'm sure there are more. Like I said, I don't know when I joined and when I didn't. I am subscribed to so many channels. So many channels. Um, yeah, like I don't know when I subscribe to Shell's Coloring Journey or Coloring with Kay or Kate's Coloring Haven. I don't, I don't know. Or I, I know the ones I've been on for a long time, like Jamie's Coloring Love and Amanda Colors. Um, 
spicy cat colors. I've been on uh, Pamela's Passion for Pencils on their channels. I've been involved, um, subscribed for a really long time. Christina's Art Corner is another one. Anyway, but those are the ones off the top of my head. Oh, no. Michaela. Michaela Renee. Not Michaela Renee. Michaela, you know who you are. I am so sorry. That is another channel. I really enjoy her channel. Um, she um, does her videos with her son, and I think it's great. Um, I think it's Michaela Colors and Creates. Yes. She is one I found this year. And she's, yeah. I, I, I love how she involves her son in her um, videos. You'll have to check it out. It's very sweet. But, um... Yeah. So, last question. Number 15. It says, what are some of your coloring goals in 2023? Um, I don't really have specific goals. I mean, I do, but I don't. Um, my number one goal is to color in as many untouched books as I possibly can. Um, to color in all my coloring books. Um, I don't know if that's possible. But I'll be happy if I even color in one page out of every book. Um, yeah, and if I'm not, if I look at it and I'm never going to color in it, I need to get rid of it. But, uh, yeah. Um, and then another one I said was to continue to improve my coloring. Um, I am enjoying it. I've learned so much, especially watching all of you, all, a lot of you, you guys out there, um, yeah yeah so that's all i have for you those are my 15 wonderful end of the year coloring tag questions um again i am tagging amanda colors christina's art corner dana's coloring obsession dusty coloring happy catastrophe shell's coloring journey i will put the question the, all the questions in the description box below. Don't forget to tag me and Sassy Coloring because she is the original creator of this tag. And I hope to see some of you guys do this tag. It was quite fun to go back through the whole year and see what I've done, see what I've accomplished. Um, yeah, some of the things I was wow, like the, how many new books I've added to my collection. I was like, wow. Anyway, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new and you made it all the way through, thank you so much. I'd love to have you join. So please subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button so you're notified when I post new videos. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and comment down below. Um, let me know what you guys think of this tag video. And um, I enjoy making these videos. And you should be seeing my completed pages videos video very soon. I'm very disappointed in myself. This is the lowest amount of coloring pages I've ever done, but I had a hard month. Anyway, we're not getting into that. Anyway, like I said, I enjoy making these videos and talking to all of you, and I look forward to talking to you all real soon.